Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sipniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, where have you been? The truth of the matter is I I've just taken a step away from YouTube for a little bit, just a little bit of a breather, take some time to myself, recuperate, get my health all back in order. And uh, I can't say it went well because the only thing I've really been doing is watching political talk shows. And those are like a vortex. You get sucked into them and you can't stop watching. So now I need to take a break from all of that. So now I'm gonna refocus my energy back on YouTube, which is a good thing because there's so many updates with LumaFusion and I have a ton of gear to review. One of the very first things that I'm going to review is the Miono Caster Lite. This is like a portable, podcasting live streaming dashboard and this is it right here it's probably eight inches by five inches now the reason that i say it's portable is because you don't need any electricity to get it to run it's a rechargeable battery so if you wanted to interview somebody in the park no need for an electric outlet there you are you can set this up and it plugs into an ipad or it can plug into a smartphone any kind of device that you have it should be compatible with this. They do have a lot of different wires that are compatible with different things. The setup of it is very easy. They have wires that are literally marked with big, huge tags, one, two, three, and you just plug them all in order and plug them into your device and your device is going to recognize this little piece of machinery and away you go. Everything that you're listening to right now is being recorded through GarageBand, which is a great tool for people that are podcasters or any type of narration that you want to do, GarageBand is really great. Let's talk about the unit itself. It's very lightweight and it's illuminated with really cool looking lights. I mean, I have to admit, it's a good looking piece of gear. I like having this sitting here. It's very interesting, but there's a lot to it. It's not just cool looking. It's actually very, very functional. There's a lot of different things that you can do with this. There's built-in sound effects. You can make sound effects of your own it can change the pitch of your voice to a lot of different voices. You can EQ your microphones right up here. And there's a few different settings that automatically EQ your microphone. So the one that I'm on right now is called Pro. There's a few different settings. Let me go ahead and put my earphones in. And yes, you can hook earphones into this as well so that you can monitor the audio that's going directly into it. So now I'm on the pro setting. This is the pop setting. This is the MC setting. This is the original setting. So in the original setting, it's not going to do anything to your microphone. It's going to leave your microphone in raw and then you can EQ the microphone right up top here. Let's say that you're a podcaster or you're someone who just likes to live stream and you like to add a little bit of humor to the situation. They do have a button that says pitch. Now what the pitch is going to do is change your voice. So let me go ahead and hit pitch. And this is the female voice, but I'm a female so it's already gonna sound pretty good. Now this is a male voice and this is what it's going to sound like if you're a woman and it drops your voice to the octave of a man. The reason that I pulled my headphones out, it's a little bit of a delay so it can be distracting, that's why I take it out. Now this is what they say a baby voice, but I don't really think it sounds like a baby, it's more of like a, a chipmunk type of voice. And this is the robot sound effect. Not that you would ever use too many of these, but it's nice to have that capability built into this. And to get out of the sound effects, all you would have to do is hit a which is going to bring you back to your previous microphone setting. There's also a really great denoiser built into this board. And I have to say, it's probably one of the best denoisers that I've ever worked with because the minute that you stop talking, it slams the gate shut. It's not going to pick up anything from the background. And you can notice on the iPad over here, these green bars, that's monitoring your audio. The minute I stop talking, it slams down. It's not picking anything up. Another great feature of the Miano Caster Lite is that it comes packed with sound effects. So if you're someone that's live streaming and you just want to add that little bit of extra oomph to your presentation, having those sound effects right at the tip of your fingers is super helpful. So let's go ahead and go through them. Of course, applause. So let's say you introduce someone and you want to give them a round of applause. There you go. There you have it. Or you're talking about somebody that you don't really care for. They're a gunshot, which I would never, you know, of course, I don't condone violence, so. <laughs> it's a joke, it's, that's, and this in case something's funny. This in case something is 
I don't understand how uh, crows denote awkwardness, but okay. And this is, I guess, for somebody that you think needs a punishment. Now, I like the slapping sound itself. The, the guy screaming at the end, I don't care for. And, of course, the most generic sound effect that there is. There's kids cheering, so yay. Another great option is that it has four blank buttons beneath those built-in sound effects, which enables you to create four of your very own sound effects. And the way that you get your sound effects in, believe it or not, it's as simple as pressing and holding the button down, and it's going to record the sound effect that you want. So if you want to input it from a, a device, like say I had it in my iPad, I would just play it on my iPad while I was holding that button down and it was recording. Or you can just obviously talk into your microphone. So how you would do that is press and hold the button until it starts flashing. Once it's flashing, that means that it's recording. So let's just go ahead and do one, I guess. Forget about it, which is a very Jersey thing to do. So let's go ahead and listen to it. Forget about it. Yay. So if you wanted to erase it, same thing. You would just press and hold it until the button illuminates, and that means that your sound effect has been erased, and it's ready to record something else if you want to. On the left-hand side of the Miono Caster light, you're going to see two sliders. One is an echo slider, so if you wanted to add a little bit of echo to your voice, you would just move up the echo slider until you get to, you know, how you think it sounds good is it enough but this is let me max it out just so that you can see what it sounds like very echoey like you're in a cave or something very interesting so let me go ahead and bring that down and the slider that's right next to it is the monitoring slider so that is where you control the volume of your headphones there are two knobs that are on top and i have to say that the feel of them is buttery smooth very tactile it feels like a nicely built unit. The one on your left is going to control the microphone volume and the one on the right is going to control the volume of when you're listening back to whatever it is that you've just recorded. Now the knobs that allow you to EQ your microphone and your voice, you really could use this to record your voice for music. It's not a professional level thing but it's absolutely doable. And I noticed that they have this little electron button here. And let's say you're someone like me, you don't have the greatest voice, your voice is very flat. This is going to allow you to change the key of your voice. Isn't that crazy? It has all the different notes. There's like A major, B, D, C, E, minor or whatever. Anyway, all of that is built into this. Sometimes you hear people's videos and there's comments like, oh, you did this to your voice. We heard it. You, you synthesize the tone of your voice. That's what they're using, this little button right here. So if you're interested in, in creating your own songs, you're a singer, but maybe you're not great with hitting certain notes, you could use that to hit anything. It's so easy to hook up. I'm like, I hooked it up myself. You just put the wires in, it's going to be recognized. You can connect this to Bluetooth. Let me just flip this around a little bit. I did take some B-roll of the back as well, but I, I wanted to show you how many different ports are in this thing. There's a lot of different things that you can hook up into this. Of course, I have the USB-C going from this directly into my iPad, but it's also capable of Bluetooth. On the rightmost corner, you're, of course, you're going to have your power button. Right next to the power button is an illumination button. So if you wanted to absolutely kill the lights on this so that no one can see them, you could dim it down to the point where there's, there's nothing there. This is the USB-C port that I have hooked directly into my iPad. Now, all the rest on the back are just basically chock full of 3.5 ports. All the way to the left, the first two are going to be your inputs for your microphone. So if you're using a microphone with this, they have to be 3.5s, which is really good because we all know that lavaliers are 3.5. So easy peasy to go in here. There's also a headphone jack, which I'm listening to right now. Music input, output port, and the other two ports are also 3.5 ports. You have a phone or you have a podcast and you wanna be able to do a mix minus. If you have a regular mixer like I do, the Behringer mixer, doing a mix minus in that is completely 
is very complex. I had to watch like 20 tutorials to understand how to get it to work. I had to buy like five different cables to get it to work. Having a mix minus with this is so easy. All you would have to do is just buy the adapter for your device, your phone, and have it go from that device to a 3.5 and then you plug it in here. And on top, there's a little indicator to show you where your microphone is at. If it's exactly in the sweet spot or if you're clipping your audio. So if you see red in the bars, that means your audio is clipping and you need to dial down the microphone just a little bit. And a big thank you to the people at Mayono for sending me the Mayono Caster Lite to review and make a video about. I didn't have to say anything nice about the unit. They didn't pay me for it. They just wanted me to have a look at it and see what I really thought about it. And to be honest with you, it's a huge thumbs up for me. It's a wonderful piece of gear. It's a good looking piece of gear. It's easy to use and that pretty much fits my criteria when it comes to gear. Well, thank you so very much for joining me. And until next time, wear your sunblock and call your mom and dad just to say how much you love them.